friends, Alice here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today we have another journal with me video because I recently watched uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them with my sisters. And since the movie was so fantastic and so amazing, uh, I, I wanted to, to dedicate one page to it. So um, I also want to advise you, if you haven't watched the movie yet and you are going to do it or you plan on watching it, please do not watch this journal with me. It, it might be a huge spoiler. No, I, I, I think it will definitely be a spoiler because <laughs> I do want to rant a little bit about it. So um, please do not watch this, uh, this clip. I really, really do not want to spoil the to spoil the fun for any of you and it's a really great movie so I do highly recommend it if, especially if you have if you grew up with Harry Potter and stuff like that <laughs> yes yeah, so um, for those of you who have watched it um, you might be able to guess who I'm drawing I'm trying to draw Credence um, yes I, I I love his character so so much he Oh, he deserved so much better. <laughs> I feel so bad. I I'm actually quite angry about it because um, I feel like his death was unnecessary. I mean, I, I don't know that there, there will probably be a second um, part of the movie. So I don't know. Maybe he will appear again and then we all know why he had to die. Or maybe he did not really die. I don't know. But it's it still made me very angry because it seemed like they they didn't even grieve about him or they didn't mourn his death and everyone was just kind of fine about it and um you know his character it was just so uh, it made me it, it just makes me so sad because he deserves so much better he in his whole life he only received abuse and people were using him and all he wanted was love and friendship and just some warmth and why couldn't he just get a happy life <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> some people you know some characters they they just die unnecessarily I feel like um some characters are purely killed off for the shock moment and for the for the for this I don't know, this this little second of shocking feeling that you receive when you see them die and I don't understand why they had to die like this because most of them could have li lived happily. For example, the death that I'm most, most angry about is actually Finnick from The Hunger Games. Um, why? <laughs> Honestly, why? I don't think there was a reason why he had to die and 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 he didn't even get a proper death he he was killed off in 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 half a sentence when I read the book I did not even realize he died because I was so immersed in reading that I can actually I feel like I, I maybe I've read it, but I did not realize it. And then after one page, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and I had to flip back and I was sobbing. I was so angry that they killed him off like that. So, yeah, um, I don't know. It, it makes me really angry when they do that. Because a lot of the characters that they kill off are actually the best ones, I guess. And um, it, it makes me very angry. But, yeah, um... I don't know. How did you like the movie? I really loved it, except from that part. I'm still angry about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over it. It just makes me so sad. And he was... He's so... He's so tiny. He's so... Oh, I just want to, you know, I want to hug him. And I want to tell him, it's going to be okay, Credence. You, you're going to live a happy life. But no, no, they had to kill him off. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I I I split the um the the folder that I got and you no know, the fly that I got and I ripped I ripped off the back side because otherwise it would have gone really thick as always. 
and what I'm doing right now, I really like this technique or this thing I'm doing, um, I can't decide of course, but uh, I will put a little bit of washi tape over the drawing that I did and um, first I will cover it, but most of the washi tapes are translucent enough so that you can see through it and then I will use the gyro cut and actually cut around the outline of the drawing and when you do that you get a really nice effect. It kind of looks like the drawing is actually popping out from the paper. So it's a slight 3D <laughs> effect. <laughs> Not really, but um, it, it just looks really nicely. And I messed it up a little bit by his ear. I cut it up a little bit too far apart. But um, I still feel like it looks nice, I guess. Yes. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> I can't look at this drawing without feeling sad. <laughs> Whenever I look at it, I, I feel I feel mad. I'm, I'm still mad. I, I feel like it will take me a few weeks until I get over this. Yeah, I don't know. My sister is also very distressed about it because she and I, we both grew up with Harry Potter. Um, we, I, I, I read it when I was 12. And it took me, it took me quite long to to actually read it because back then my German wasn't too good, so um, I had to read it twice to understand it. But um, it's still something I don't know. The the books that you read when you were a child they kind of stick with you, and it just has a special place in your heart. And no matter how many years have passed, whenever you see something related to that, you just have to stop and look at it and just you kind of go back and you you think about all the things you did as a child and it feels like all the memories and they, they just come flooding back. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, I don't know. I, I feel very sad. <laughs> with this movie but um yes I'm, I'm trying to make a date sticker and um I also the little hand sticker that I did before I drew that when while I was waiting uh where was I I don't know I was out and I had to wait somewhere it was taking quite long so I um I drew that little hand and I do want to make more sticker out of it because I really like it and it looks really nice and just really cute and um, of course I can't decide where to put it because I want still want to write the title on here and so I have to play around with it a little bit so that I have, so that I still have enough space for the title and um yeah it's <laughs> it's really fun making your own stickers really it's just it's sometimes it uh, I don't know I can't talk I'm really sorry but it's a lot of fun to layer a lot of stuff and a lot of stickers it gives a nice look to the pages. I also do really love the flat pages, but lately I've been going crazy with stickers and washi and just filling up the whole notebook. That's why it's gotten really thick. Um, I, I can't really write properly in it because um, the pages keep bulking up, but I don't use a lot of tip-ins because I don't know how to use them. I understand the... the I, I do understand how to use them, but somehow it always looks kind of funny when I do it. So um, I'm not sure. I might need to play around with it a lot more. But um, yeah, so I just use lots and lots of stickers. And I bought a pack of sticker paper, like a hundred pack for, I think it was nine euros on Amazon. So they are quite cheap and um, it's just so much fun to make them yourself. And the, 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 um, what's it called? The fountain pen that I'm using, it's the Twispy Eco and the nib is quite wet. Although it's an extra fine, the nib is still very wet. And whenever I write with this pen, it will smear because I'm very... I'm really messy with it and as you can see I just go all over it with my fingers and then um, there's always one part that will smear like crazy and it will just look very messy but uh, yes it's still it writes so smoothly and so wonderfully oh and this sticker I I had it in my stash and I just had to use it because 
my poor little boy Credence, my fragile little boy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sad about it. I, I know. I'm really sorry. This whole. This whole clip will just be me ranting about how angry I am. <sighs> but still, how could they? <laughs> I'm also only journaling about how angry I am, to be honest. Um, but yeah, some some deaths are really unnecessary. I'm still angry about Finnick, Hunger Games. I'm angry about the twins, one of the twins in Harry Potter. I forgot who it was. I'm really sorry. I always get them mixed up. Who else? I don't know. Some people are necessary to die. Um, yes. Okay. I'm sorry that I ranted so much. Um, I still hope you enjoyed this spread. I feel like it turned out so wonderfully and I'm so, so proud of it. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm so angry about, about Credence, but thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me and listening to me rant. Um, tell me if you like the movie and Definitely. I'll see you next time. Stay creative, stay well, and don't get sick. Thank you so, so much. Bye.